we'll go ahead and get started. It's um, it's good to see you guys. I thought today was a really productive day. I, you know, this week in particular, from all of um, of spring, was probably the most competitive. I think there have been guys for sure that have been on a learning curve, where whereas um, maybe the correction period, the day after, is when you would kind of see it all come together. And I think this week we were able to see things come together uh, the day of, you know, the afternoon of. And so things were being installed and things were being executed, um, you know, on the same day. And then the connections were being built with, hey, this is a play off of this or this is a, uh, a wrinkle off of that. And so I think to be at that stage of all of it, both offensively and defensively, um, is a tribute, I think, to the, to the players. And, you know, in the very beginning of, um, of winter, we talked about ball, brotherhood, and battle and ball being really important and uh, brotherhood being strengthened through ball and then battle is like you know we're out we're not out here to lose we're out here to win and and uh, it takes effort to win and it's it's hard to win and um, um, to see all of that kind of come to fruition this week and this uh, this scrimmage was a positive um, Thought, again, the quarterbacks threw, uh, threw the deep ball well. We were able to connect on a few of those. I thought that um, Sawyer showed really good uh, decision-making with some pressure and uh, had good outlets and um, was smart with the ball and, and smart with his protections. I thought uh, Daquan was able to make some plays with his feet. I thought he also redirected protections. Um, I thought he made some plays uh, in the quarterback run game as well. Um, I thought receiver-wise, um, we're continuing to get, you know, whether it's Ashton Hawkins or it's Jamal or some of the guys in the slot, Monterey Baldwin, make plays um, in space. And so that's really good to see. Um, defense, defensively, uh, Brendan Bett really showed up and had a really strong day. Uh, Keaton Thomas continues to impress. I think he's had a couple days uh, throughout the spring where you would argue he's the best player on the field. And then, um, you know, secondary wise, uh, I think well, both Devons, uh, their, their ability to, to communicate and to uh, get everybody lined up and on the same page when it's crazy tempo is uh, impressive. And uh, I think as captains of the of the defense, so to speak, back there. They do a great job of uh, commanding, commanding the, the deal. And then, you know, I thought Garmin Randolph is playing the best football that uh, he's played since he's been here. And so I think whether it's, a, it's an intensity thing, it's a focus thing, I think it's also like, hey, man, this is the end of it type of thing. And so um, whatever's had to click for him has clicked. And he's a different dude right now, and we're glad to have... Uh, we're glad to have them. Take any questions you guys got. Caleb talked about it, getting two jacks on the field mm -hmm. quite a bit. Is that something back to whether it was at LSU, Wisconsin, whatever, is that something you like to do anyway, just to get maybe some more of those playmaker types on the field? Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we have a particular name for that grouping. and um, So it's two D linemen and four linebackers uh, that we play with, and the rest are DBs. And, and so the, um, you know, those two outside backers are on the edges of the front and uh, they can rush uh, and or drop. And so it gives you the ability to play four down, but play it as if it was a three down. And so, um, you know, the principles that you would play in three down with, you know, who's coming, who's going, who's rushing, who's dropping, you can now do out of four down and um, you can manipulate protections and blocking schemes and all that and get matchups that you want and um, it's good to be able to have that I you know um, Steve has been another one that has had a great week at outside linebacker might have had his best week since he's been here and so I think those two, for those two guys to kind of come on the way they're coming on is uh, is needed I feel just in general that's a position where our production has not been what's needed you know, if you look at the previous years, and if we can got if we can get what we got this week, it'd be a good thing. 
second week in a row you've mentioned Keith. Are you surprised at all in terms of him coming in here and kind of making the impact he has? And you know, what kind of role do you expect him to play in that role this season? A huge one. Yeah, I know in the recruiting uh, part of it, you know, that last stretch or that last week or 10 days was frantic. It was um, every minute. It was check your phone. It was all of it. And so generally when it's like that, at that time, it's like this at this time, you know, you know, you know the, at, the, at the later date. And so you get to play and you get all of it. And I mean, he's a dude that um, you really only have to say it one time and he gets it. Just his notes are, are, uh, are really uh, detailed. And, uh, you know, if something's installed in the, in the, in the PM in the evening, he's, he's executing it. And then he's telling other guys, what they do and the thing that was just installed and so he's a way leader and uh, very very productive and so I think he's he's on his way right now you know I've got to also say Matt Jones is a guy that's um has been here for a long time and um, you look at the inside linebacker room and outside back room there's dudes that have been here for a long time and so I but they um Matt's a guy that uh, I think has always kind of been a steady guy I think in 21 he was kind of a uh a guy that made flash plays, and since then has kind of been in a steady category. And uh, Matt is making plays, and Matt is is really the glue guy. And Matt is a guy where if we need a play and we need someone to to uh, kind of close out this drive, or we need someone to to uh, to attack this protection, Matt's been that guy. So I'm I'm impressed with this, with that linebacker group and how they're progressing. Um, we still got a whole lot. Of, uh, of growth to go, but for where we're at right now, from where it was, it's really good. Coach, I know a lot of the talk coming into camp was you taking more hands on the mm -hmm. defense, mm -hmm. especially with the linebackers. Do you feel like a couple weeks in it paid dividends? Do you see that they're further along than maybe they were last year? It's a hard question to answer. I think um, I feel. Um, pissed off a whole lot more. I don't know if that's I'm supposed to say that, but I feel um, I get mad more than I normally would, and so um, I think the intensity of everything is way risen up. And I just think you know, I think uh, to win games on defense, it's got to be fourth and one every day. And I think to try to to be where that's the attitude, where it's fourth and one. Um, and that you're bringing people together at the same time. Uh, that's a, there's a trick to that. And so we're trying our best to, to work that trick, you know. But I, I know that everybody feels the urgency and the intensity, and it's got to start with us as coaches. Talking to, kind of going off that, talking to a bunch of players and coaches throughout the spring, they've mm -hmm. talked a lot about a different vibe, a different, you mm -hmm. know, a different energy this, this spring, mm -hmm. maybe aside from mm -hmm. the normal spring optimism. Mm -hmm. Where do you think that comes from? Where, where, do, where do you think started that? Well, we started at the very beginning talking about ball and talking about brotherhood and talking about battle. And, you know, uh, for ball to be important, I mean, you have to invest time. You know, it's, it's interesting. Um, there's a Marvel's movie. It's Dr. Um, what's his name? With all the, the portals. Dr. Strange, man, with all the different portals and the levels and everything. And so that's football. And so you, you can go way, way deep um, if, if you choose to go, right? Or you could keep it shallow and, uh, you know, kind of, uh, kind of ride luck um, and um, uh, happenstance and all this other thing. But to go down to all the levels is to understand the game, to understand why they are in this formation, why this particular player is put in this position, why this play is called in this down and distance, right? Um, what, what is the strength? What is the, the vulnerability of this defensive front, right? Um, hey, what happened in the first drive is, is going gonna, is gonna to beg and uh, borrow uh, what's going to happen in the third drive. And so I just think like um, all of those things, um, all of those things are important things. And I think those, those happen when you go down to all the levels, you know? And so I feel that our guys are that way and um, are starting to be that way. And I think it, it needs to be that way.
because games are won or lost in those uh, very thin margins. How do you feel like the offensive line is coming along? You have some new faces in there, some returners. How do you feel like that group's coming along? There was good and bad today. I thought there was improvement um, from earlier in the week. Um, there is a, a major, major want to there. And so uh, start with, uh, with Mason all the way through to all of them. Uh, Ryan Legale and, and uh, Colton and all those guys. But I think, you know, we've got to get everybody healthy. I think that's a main, that's a, that's a, that's a big part of it. And then I think, um, you know, um, some of the fronts and the, multi, uh, the multiple stuff we're doing with the tempo, I think is going to, in the end, really strengthen and uh, um, fortify kind of their, uh, um, their attack. Right now, they're kind of working through it. And so I think it's all part of it. But uh, I like our group, and I like the edge with our group, right? Um, I mean, there, there's dudes that uh, probably had to have more of an edge to them last year that are showing that edge now and, are, and, and doing it in such a way that the football is doing the speaking, not the, the words after the play or before the play. And so that's good to see. Coach, as we rounded this home stretch of spring practice, have we seen separation somewhat? Yeah, I think the probably one of the contributing, one of the major contributing factors with that is what O-line is working with who, you know. And um, I think uh, to tie in the previous question with yours. And so I think when you've got some of the guys that are the young vets, I guess we should call them, when they're in there and they've, they've played some before and all of it and uh, – there's, there's some time to throw it, and I think there's, there's good on both sides of it. I mean, RJ made some good throws today. RJ was able to step up in the pocket and uh, connect on things, and I thought there was, a clean, uh, there was a clean view for him to make plays. Um, but I think if the, the look is or the view is messy or dirty and it's, um, it's not... Uh, it's not the way it's drawn up, so to speak. You know, that's where uh, really Taquan has really shown, right? And so I think to get it to where um, we can get more production when the pocket's clean from everybody and then to get more production um, from a few guys when the pocket breaks down, I think is where we're at. And, uh, you know... Everyone's, everyone's working to that end, and I just feel like, um, you know, there's great confidence with that group and great confidence with the receivers in that group, and so uh, I feel good about the direction we're headed.